12 great jobs that you can land with no experience. That is gonna be the topic of today's video. I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet, not gonna elaborate too much on it. I'm just gonna talk about the jobs and some of the main things you need to know about them. If you appreciate me doing this type of video, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button. Let's set a goal for 1,000 likes. All right, so let's jump right into it with the first career on the list, which is tech sales. Now, tech sales also might be referred to as software sales, sales development representative, and business development representative. And it is exactly what it sounds like. You are basically doing sales, but you're working in the technology industry. And typically, this would be a B2B or business to business position. That means you would be selling products and services from one business to another business, not products and services from a business to a consumer. Now, when you type in business development on LinkedIn.com, you see two 284,000 results at the entry level posted in the last month. When you type in sales development on LinkedIn, you see 103,000 results at the entry level posted in the last month as well. These are phenomenal numbers. And as a business development representative, you can expect to make about $79,000 a year. Now, I've interviewed several people on this channel that went into tech sales. It is a phenomenal career for the right type of person. I'd recommend that you would check out Troy's free training, which I will put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Troy owns a company called course careers and he trains people in tech sales skills and then he actually gets them interviews right so he's gotten tons of people jobs in tech sales at the entry level and he's doing it in record time there are plenty of people with zero college degree and zero experience getting jobs in one to two months which is just unheard of Damn! If you do decide to use his service, I also have a $50 off coupon, which you can check out down below. I believe the code is Shane50. Number two on the list, another one of my favorite ones that I talk about on this channel quite a bit is digital marketing, right? So you see digital marketing everywhere. It's the reason that you're able to have all of these freemium products like websites, uh, YouTube, Twitter, et cetera. And over the last month at the entry level, you see 92,000 job postings for digital marketing. That is also phenomenal. And digital marketers make about $76,000 a year. Now out of the two, I would say tech sales, you can get the better results with right off the bat and you can also get jobs right away. But digital marketing tends to apply to a lot more people. So there's people who aren't really all that interested in tech sales and to those types of people, I would say digital marketing, you have a much better chance of finding some interest in it. Number three on the list is going to be another phenomenal career and that is web developer. So if you type in web development on LinkedIn at the entry level posted in the last month, you're gonna see 101,000 results. And as a web developer, you would expect to make about $98,000 a year. Now this one is a little bit harder to learn, a little bit harder to break into, probably not gonna be able to do it in like one month like you can with software sales, but still a phenomenal option. It's probably the easiest version of software development, which that is the next one on the list. Number four, software development. Software development on its own can be different types of software, applications, etc. So it comprises a lot more. And if you type in software development on LinkedIn over the last month at the entry level, you'll see 300,000 results. So yeah, ridiculous amount of demand for software development. And also if you look at the total pay, it's $111,000 a year. Now this one is definitely going to be harder to break into than some of the other ones that I mentioned on the list, but it's not impossible by any means. Another really good one that's closely related to software development is a software quality assurance tester. And that is number five on the list. This this is basically somebody who tests software to make sure you get all the bugs and all the glitches out as fast as possible. Now, if you type in quality assurance in the US over the last month at the entry level, you're gonna see 108,000 job postings and you can expect to make about $93,000 a year. So yeah, another really good one. I see a lot of people going into, there's a lot of boot camps springing up for this one because there's so much demand for it. Number six on the list is going to be information technology. I think everybody knows what IT is. Basically, you're gonna be working with a computer and computer systems within a company. And if you type in information technology at the entry level over the last month on LinkedIn, you'll see 134,000 results. And there's a wide range of different IT positions, but overall they make about $72,000 a year. Although if you specialize, you can make a heck of a lot more than that. Closely related to IT, number seven on the list is going to be cybersecurity. 
And with this one, you're also gonna be focusing on a company's information technology, but you're gonna be focusing more on the safety side of things. So storing and retrieving data in a safe way where there's no breaches or leaks. And if you type in cybersecurity at the entry level in the last month, you're gonna see 43,000 positions and computer security shows about 52,000. And if you type in IT security, that shows about 62,000. So yeah, a lot of opportunity there, a little bit harder to break into this one because you do need to know quite a bit. A lot of the time people will do IT first and then transition into cybersecurity. And with this one, you can expect to make about $91,000 a year. Next one on the list is going to be trade careers. And there's a bunch of really good ones out there. And it depends on where you live, what the regulations are, whether it's, you know, you live in a non-union or union state, there's a bunch of different things, but I'm just going to go ahead and choose truck driver for this specific example. And also, by the way, trades are really good in the US, but they're not necessarily good in other countries. So if you're watching this from another country, please make sure to do your research. So when you type in truck driver on LinkedIn at the entry level in the last month, you'll see there's 165,000 results. And truck drivers make about $68,000 a year. And you can get into truck driving typically with a pretty quick certification within a few months. Number nine on the list is going to be a phenomenal option for my artists out there who want to get paid to do art. And that is UX and or UI design. UI stands for user interface, UX stands for user experience. The UI part is the more artistic side. When you type in UI and UX design, you'll see 13,000 results. UI design shows 34,000 and UX design shows 16,000. And a UI UX web designer makes about $87,000 a year. Next one on the list is going to be a customer service representative, but specifically you want to be a customer service representative that works in the B2B industry, kind of taking care of high level clients, right? So there's some very low level customer service representative jobs. You can start off there, get a job there relatively easily, but you probably want to work your way into the higher level ones. One example of this would be customer relationship manager, which is kind of a hybrid of customer service and sales. And this isn't the most glamorous job ever, especially the lower level ones, but it's something that you can get really easily. It's remote, so it has a lot of flexibility. So there are some upsides to it. And if you type in customer service representative on LinkedIn, you're going to see over the last month at the entry level, 118,000 results, really solid. And customer service representatives make about $49,000 a year. Next one on the list is going to be a data analyst. And this one has a ridiculous amount of demand. And data analysis is all about interpreting, cleansing, inspecting, transforming data. And if you type in data analysis on LinkedIn over the last month at the entry level, you are gonna see 414,000 results. Bruh. That is just, that's mind blowing. That is a mind blowing amount of entry level jobs needed for this talent. There is so much demand for data analysis that Google actually came out with a certification, right? The company got so frustrated that they couldn't find people to have this skill set that they actually created their own certification for it. Okay, that's all you really need to know about how valuable this skill set is. Now you can expect to make about $77,000 a year as a data analyst. Number 12 on the list is going to be real estate agent. So this is an interesting one because a lot of people do it kind of part time. You know, if your family's buying a house, you'll act as their real estate agent just so you can get a cut. And then other people do it full time. They're working like 80, 100 hours a week. So a lot of the numbers you see out there on the internet aren't necessarily accurate because many people go into real estate for different reasons. But with that being said, if you type in real estate agent on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 41,000 results. And Glassdoor has real estate agents making about $107,000 a year. So this one is a little bit more entrepreneurial. A lot of the time you have to be a self-starter. It's not one of those jobs where you just show up, clock in, do your work and then leave, but it can be a really good choice for the right type of person. It also has one of the highest job satisfaction scores. So a lot of people really love being real estate agents. So if you're interested in tech sales, I decided to interview Abdul and I'll post that video right here. He decided to skip college and go into tech sales. He was able to get a job at about 19 years old and he made $70,000 in his first year doing tech sales. So really cool interview. Go ahead and check that out and I'll see you there.